Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Dylan Hex. So here I have some little time to show you my project that I currently working on. So for the background, I've been playing with FPGA for a couple while now and I have my own little tiny dev board, uh, not kind of dev board, but it's more like um, a breakout board for Ice40 FPGA. And then I thought, well, I don't have the programmer yet, so why don't build one? And before I have this board, I have um, Ice Sugar Nano FPGA, which is currently sitting in the box right now. Well, I just need to do some more stuff with it, but they have some nice feature, which is call a drag and drop programming so you can drag a file and drop it into a virtual disk that you know you plug into the board and it's magically programmed so well i've made one too but this one is a little bit different because um it doesn't flash the spi not flash but instead this thing kind of push the bitstream load the bitstream directly to the FPGA so like when I need to do something I just hooked up this STM32 uh, Maple Mini uh, dev board to the iHex 40 board the, my FPGA and yeah pretty much that no need to kind of do a lot of stuff no need to whack in the SPI non fetch and you just drag and drop drag and drop forever and well, you don't need SPI flash, which is mean that you don't need to flash the SPI flash and it's quite annoying, like you flash a couple times, couple times and well, it's gonna wear out quick. So this video is gonna be some little demonstration of this project uh, ICE40 with the ICE Blaster programmer, uh, Bitstream Loader, whatever you want to call. So go to my PC here. I'm gonna plug in this STM32 board. So it presents itself as a USB disk like this, so there's nothing inside. It's just way you to drop stuff in. So here I have a little project that I did with the AD90 um, 57 ADC ship, and this is the code. I mean the RTL code, the worry log code of that thing. I already do the synthesized blah 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 stuff. And here is the bitstream of ICE40 FPGA. So the thing that I'm gonna do is before we can start, let's check this thing first. So here I have the zero plot program that used for this project. So make sure that I connect to the serial port and I send the ping command you should see something update but I tap on it but nothing update because the FPGA is not configured which is mean that it's waiting for the bitstream configuration and now I'm gonna drag and drop the file into the iBlaster so again the file is gone because is already sent to the FPGA and there's no storage medium to save the file it's just acting itself as a virtual file system a virtual disk some sort of that stuff okay so back to the serial plot let's take a look okay I forgot to open the port oh oh no fail so I didn't didn't connect the zero part. Okay, so let's try again. So right now it's not responding to the ping command. So let's try to re-upload the code again. I mean not the code, the bit stream. So let's take a look here. Okay, we got something. So let's do some capturing okay so as you can see we just drag and drop with a little failed there 
I can load the bitstream to the FPGA and it's just drag and drop. It's really easy, no need for any f flashing program like FTDI, uh, some sort of that. And I have a plan to expand this to another level. So I've been designed the actual physical board for the Ice Blaster and the microcontroller is based on STM32F or 4 to something something but I don't think that I gonna build it now because well this day it's really hard to get the ship and the price is kind of skyrocketing so maybe the end of this year or I just hope that the ship the price of them just fall down to somewhere that I comfortably can buy but until then so this is just a little demo of the ice blaster project so hope you guys love this video I'm not sure but well I post this project on my hackaday.io already so you might want to take a look at it because it's look because it's really interesting Maybe if you want to get into um, FPGA and you might want to consider using Ice Blaster because this thing is really nice, just drag and drop. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. So leave a like, subscribe and bye bye. See you again next time.